So, today students we will be studying about parenchyma and sclerenchyma in a temporary stained slide. For this what do we require? We require the plant stem of a herbaceous plant and this stem should be soft and it should be cut into about 3 centimeter pieces and put in water. We require some watch glasses, slides, cover slips, needle, forceps, brush, blade, dropper, stain as saffronine and mounting. For mounting we require glycerine. Now let us start the cutting of the section of a stem. For this you need to hold the stem in your left hand in an upright condition and hold this razor blade in your right hand and hold it at right angles to the uh, axis of the stem and try to cut very thin sections of the stem as thin as possible and then put these in water. So, here you can see I have cut sections of the stem and put it in water. Now, we want to stain these sections. For this we will take saffronine stain and dilute it with some water and put these sections in saffronine stain. Keep it for 1 or 2 minutes and then take it out in a watch glass having water. So, this these sections are then transferred to a watch glass containing water. After this these sections are put on a slide. A drop of glycerine is put and on this drop the section is put and this needs to be covered by cover glass. Now, this section has been mounted, the stained section has been mounted in glycerine and now it is ready to be observed under the microscope. Focus it under low power of microscope and try to see the structures visible. You can find that the section is circular in outline and there is a thin walled epidermal layer and next to the epidermis we find the hypodermis and next to hypodermis is the cortex and then there is a ring of vascular bundles internal to the ring of vascular bundles there is a pith. So, here we find that the pith and the cortex consists of very thin walled cells. These thin walled cells consists of cells having circular outline and they are loosely arranged, they have intercellular spaces they have large lumen and they are living cells. Such thin wall cells are called as parenchyma. Now, in contrast to this we have thick wall cells as well. In the hypodermis and some of the cells of the cortex are thick walled. These thick wall cells have angular outline they are compactly arranged, they are 
they do not have intercellular spaces and they have narrow lumer. So, such thick walled cells which are having these characteristics are called as sclerenchyma. So, students today you have seen two types of tissues, one parenchyma consisting of thin walled cells and the other sclerenchyma consisting of thick walled cells.